Within this video, I'll give you a quick rundown of the new things introduced and fixed within the 2019 Halloween update, Fort of the Damned. Stay tuned. This video will contain spoilers, so if you're trying to avoid them, this isn't the video for you. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to it. The Pirate Emporium has undergone its first change of stock, and this month we have Halloween-themed skeleton monkey and parrot skins, along with a new set of clothing for each. The Cutthroat cosmetic ship has been added, which is dark blue and maroon coloured, with a special glowing aqua and silver sail, as well as two new sets of emote, one that's a generic theme, and the second being themed around taunting others. Duke is selling Skull Seeker Voyages for the Shores of Plenty, the Wilds and the Ancient Isles, where you have to kill a skeleton captain that'll drop a map that'll lead to a ritual skull that you can then dig up. There is also a legendary version of the quest where you can kill two captains and get two skulls as a result. Ritual skulls can be turned in as part of the Fort of the Damned event or turned in for some extra in-game gold. For doubloons, Duke has the Fearless Bone Crusher weapon set, Wailing Barnacle clothing, as well as some Wild Rose clothing. For coins, you can buy the Red Coat Executive Admiral clothing set and the Deep Ocean Crawler equipment set. Inside the clothing shop, you'll find more feminine clothing, including dresses, shirts, and pants. These will include crop tops, short skirts, and shorter dresses. There are also new hair colors, including cerulean blue, cherry pink, emerald green, amethyst angel, and pink plush. Not to mention there are two-toned hair dyes located inside the Pirate Legend hideout. You can also change the color of your undergarments if you so choose to. There is a Kraken, Megalodon and Damned face paint that are locked behind achievements relating to the event. The big ticket item this update is the Fort of the Damned. For more information on that, click the video appearing in the top right or check out my YouTube channel. Basically, it's a player started fort that yields a greater in-game reward while also posing a huge risk due to the amount of explosive barrels around the island and included in the final fort reward. They've also fixed the equipment bug that resets your equipment preferences when you log out. Pets shouldn't freak out as much when the proverbial monkey vomit hits the fan. You may come across rag and bone chests on your travels. These now turn into Duke for five doubloons with no turn in time. Reaper chests will now reward 25 doubloons rather than the previous 15. Standing in a storm with your sword out increases your chances of getting hit by lightning. If you include your admiral belt, you should get zapped in no time at all. And last but not least, banjos have been added to the game. That's all for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Aussie accent. Share the video with your friends so we all stay informed. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Hope you're having a lovely day. Till next time.